Now, often people will wonder why do they have one particular set of symptoms versus another. And often they want to go into the history to try to figure it out as if that's going to answer the question. And there, there are a few different answers. So somebody coming to us, we often will not know why they chose that particular set of symptoms because quite often it's not really important. Uh, so for instance, you know, when I have a set of symptoms, like if I end up with contamination, it may be just opportunistically that something was really gross and dirty in that time and that scared me and that was the beginning of OCD. So quite often we can't really find a reason. Luckily, it actually doesn't matter because it turns out that the conditions that start a problem are not the ones that maintain it. So imagine, for instance, I'm really unassertive when I'm 11 years old and all my friends are smoking and I start smoking. And now I'm 35 and I'm really unassertive and I'm smoking and so we are going to help me be assertive and I'm still going to be smoking. My smoking is now maintained by a whole lot of other factors. Now, we sometimes have some hints as to why somebody would pick a certain set of symptoms and obviously not pick in a conscious way. Again, it's what is a threat to myself. If I'm a really religious person and I, that's very important to me, anything that's a threat to my spirituality is going to become a great place for OC breeding ground. What if I'm not the way I want to be? And again, I love my children. Nothing can get between my children. What if I'm a monster? Now, I'm saying this, and certain people are here, would be hearing this, if you're somebody who has that fear about the kids, you know, you're going to actually try to twist this. And the way you'll twist it is going like, oh good, I'm doing this out of love so I don't really have a problem. And as soon as you try to reassure yourself, you're going to go like, but what if I'm the exception? Or what if that's not me? Because again, the goal of treatment is learning to live with uncertainty. So us understanding some of the reasons why you've got there, it's a little helpful. The core though is what we're going to do from this point on. Because what's maintaining the problem now is not necessarily what started the problem.